Night of the Living podcast is always ad-free for patrons at patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. Welcome to NOTLP Boarding School. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to I forgot to turn up the mics right away. It's okay. It's a new mixer. Oh my god, we got a new mixer and I freaked out. Freaked out. Sorry everybody for that moment of silence, but it was for whatever thing that is making you sad right now. We had a moment of silence for you. We could have just called the theme NOTLP Boarding School instead of what I, I came up with Ba 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 Boarding School. Yeah. Because it's like Scooby Doo. What just uh <laughs> But it just occurred to me when I said it. Why did it just occur to you? I don't know why it didn't occur sooner. You can call it like uh, Miss Amy's School for Spooky Girls or something. Uh, spooky gals. The spookier the better. So we're going to be talking about a movie called The House That Screamed, La Residencia, is the original title, although the film was filmed in English. Teresa. By a Spanish, what, casting crew in a French location? Yeah. Wow. International. It's the United Nations. That's a, a lot of different countries Grouped together, came together to make an awful movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't like the movie. Well, <laughs> the spoiler Andy. <laughs> alert, Andy didn't like the movie. I would have liked a better print of the movie, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that was a problem. My um, eyes, my eyes can't It was take. awful blurry. A blurry old print. <laughs> there is a better one we found out midway well, through the movie. I, once I was in, I was in. Yeah. Um, it's otherwise, you know, the sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> I could have just stopped it. I yeah. chose not to. Well, I wanted to stop it, but I was like, I'm going to power I, through. I just have to watch one movie a week, so I'm going to honor it and power through it. But um, does it count if I was on my phone most of the time? Um, I, mean, I don't know. It depends. We'll the, see. If the movie couldn't I mean, hold I, you. I, I, couldn't I, I hold knew you. what was going on. I looked up every now and then, but yeah, that's the movie's fault. It's not mine. So there. It's interesting. I mean, I'm, I don't love this movie by any stretch of the imagination. I guess we'll but it's it's it. better than a lot of what we watch. Oh, that screamed. Uh, ah. ah. Yeah. Yeah. You ready for this then? I think so. You? Yeah. All, All right, right. Let's do it. Turn the lights. It's the main attraction. Yowzers. Yeah, nineteen sixty nine. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Noise. Uh, There's a that's a plus in his in his column. It was filmed in 1969, and then we didn't get it here in the states until like 1970 or 71. But um, oh, so it, cool. uh, it, it the description is pretty basic. A strict headmistress runs a secluded school for wayward girls in 19th century France, whose students are disappearing under mysterious circumstances. At first. I liked our strict headmistress. I thought she had a cool, cold as ice kind of thing going on. I was like, this bitch is a boss bitch, right? Mm-hmm. But then she turned awful. Well, she, yeah. Into a torturer of young ladies. Abusive. Yeah. And then it, I was like, oh, I wish I hadn't written down. <laughs> I like this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you can't be held at fault for your first That's impressions. why pencils have erasers. And that's why I wrote on here. But I meant in a bad way. She's a badass. <laughs> You know, but I totally thought I liked her. At and first. also the um, the title is a uh, misnomer too. I know the house that screamed. Were you mad the house never once screamed? No, uh, I didn't expect an actual house to scream, but uh, <laughs> I expected some He's screams <laughs> and some scariness. Oh, there really yeah. wasn't any. I this don't know what this a, movie was. This it felt like they wanted, it, 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 you know, kind of like Black Christmas with all the cool yeah. stuff taken away. It was definitely a whodunit. Yeah. Um, like, I thought it was going to go in a, like, a giallo, spirit yeah. uh, direction. Well, they know? say this movie inspired a lot of Suspiria. Oh, no. Yeah. It was like <laughs> one of a... Hey, but you got a movie you liked, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I guess that's another plus, but... Um, Thanks, the house that screamed. <laughs> I, I, I was just really confused by the movie. I think that's the best word for it, because... What was the point of it? it? What was the plot? The movie did weird stuff. Well, the it, it's like it an uncle things. or something dropping his niece off or something at the beginning. 
No, right? a friend of the family. I or he's think. just a friend of the family. It's like her entire family died. She's um, super mysterious. I think. Yeah. Her name's Teresa, and she's new to the to the boarding school. And immediately, I think here's our killer. It's going to be Teresa, and she's going to be taking revenge on this school because her mother was abused there. I was way wrong. Yeah. But that would have made a lot of sense. Like, if this came out today, that probably would have been well, its tra- trajectory. Like it's, well, there's one of the problems. There's a lot of setup yeah. for things, and there was no payoff at all. Yeah, loose ends. In- instead, they kill off the main chick, like, before the end. It was weird. <laughs> and that yeah. uh, was another problem. Moment. I had a lot of trouble differentiating these girls from each other. They all looked yeah. just like young women. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't know who that first girl was killed. Who, who that was killed? Who she was? The one who, she got stabbed overhand. Yeah, right? and I forgot which one was the mean girl. The they did look an awful lot. Uh, I forgot which one Teresa. had sex with the the woodsman. All they of them all did. Had yeah. sex with the woodsman. If you remember, that's kind of an interesting point in this movie, right? That's a fun little detail. Yeah. It turns out these girls at this these wayward girls are like we're still gonna get some. So when the guy comes to deliver wood, we <laughs> deliver he's wood. pimped. He's pimped out. He's pimped out to a girl that the mean girl gets to decide who is the one that's going to go out and fuck the wood guy. Yeah, and he's kind of a gross looking he's dude when he finally a shows up. Gross right? looking it's a, dude. The, it's slim pickings, so they're yeah. gonna beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. There's only and he's, wood guy, and then there's weird son of the headmistress. Uh, like yeah. one of the girls was saying, like. Uh, that's why a lot of girls run away because they're so pent up. They yeah, need, everyone's they need so dick. horny. They need it so and bad. I like the way I thought it was gonna go like in a very sleazy, fun what a fun sleazy thing. Yeah, like a cage heat type thing. Oh no, it was but, more um, Catholic. It didn't go that way at all. Yeah, it was much. I darker. mean, there was there was set up for it. I think like there was. I feel there was a lot of, there was some. Like lesbian undertones and stuff like that. There There was was, some, uh, you know, there was some eroticism to the movie. Well, there's also the suppression of eroticism. Well, yeah. More often, like they made them shower clothes. Till the one chick was like, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. How do you get clean when you shower clothes? I didn't understand it either. And I was like, I don't know. And if the Lord didn't want you to be naked, he wouldn't have made you naked. I don't know. He would have made you with clothes on. I was like, are they never nude? More with clothes on? Yes. <laughs> that would be horrific, Amy. <laughs> like, uh, can you imagine? That way. <laughs> Too many rivets in your jeans. It was boring. Cause a lot so of damage. Do, you. Your, do your clothes go grow with you as you grow? Yes, it's like a turtle shell or whatever. <laughs> That's a really, yeah, wildly disturbing <laughs> kind of idea. And some people, like, uh, <laughs> there's a problem during the pregnancy and they're born without clothes. Oh, my God. <gasps> ah! Or they have a ceremony where they have your clothes trimmed yeah. away, like a bris. Oh. Ah. That's a lot of trimming if we're attached to our yeah. clothes. They're like, you know, yeah. <laughs> anyway. like a four, five, and six skin. What are we talking about anymore? I don't even know. Um, yeah, so the principal's weird son. Yeah, he's kind of sweet. Is, he seems like this, like he's, what a sweet gig. He's a little Romeo. For a young man. Yeah, he, he has yeah. like a, um, who's the character in um, Psycho? Norman Bates. Norman Bates. He's a Norman Bates. <laughs> it's a Norman Bates character. Well, well he yeah. definitely is. I mean, at they the even end, borrow you find something. Out, yeah. Surprise! Yeah. He was your killer. But yeah, um, he's kind I, he of, gave weird vibes yeah. to begin with. Yeah. It was well, weird. he's like um, emotionally repressed, mm-hmm. and uh, well, they are, yeah, his mother is, you know, overbearing yeah. mother. I wish they got that grown man that plays little boys that was in Burial Ground to be in this. Yeah. Remember him? Yeah. It's it's one of that famous meme. Yeah, where he's he's they zoom in on his face where he's tucked into bed. You remember him, Amy? The little guy who's yes. obsessed with his mom. Yeah, that was burial yes. ground, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That yeah, yes. if you've been in any comment section on any th- You're right. uh, yeah. comment board, you've seen that face. <laughs> Sorry, it took me in my head. But you put full. that actor, a man, forty year old man playing a child, would yeah. have been. It would have just sure. Really sealed the deal on this yeah. guy. But instead, they chose, I think, an age-appropriate actor. Yeah. I like mean, a bunch of idiots. The character is... It's like, how did I not realize it was going to be the weird son? Maybe because I thought it was so obvious. He's a peep. He's a peeping Tom. Yeah. He's two-timing a couple of girls. He's got, you know, his pickings of any of them. Because remember, they are so horny. They're just horny as Anything hell. Anything will do. Well, th- like, there's some setup to his story and... There are long swat um, passages where, like, you don't see him at all. Right. And then all of a sudden, oh, wait, he's here. 
Yeah, he, he definitely, and they introduced him a little bit late, right? And th- that's the thing. That's why it was such a surprise at the end. Yeah. Uh, when he is ultimately revealed to be the killer. Right, and that he's like super bonkers. And the reveal of what he's doing with the See, people I he's like killing. That. But it wasn't set up at all. Like, no, I remind mean, me because I forget. He's a Frankenstein. He's oh, making a right. he's making a, a bride. He's for making himself. a bride. Yeah, which but I they, really thought that was a great he's twist. For some brides. But there was no uh, nod to it that that's what was happening because we didn't get any idea of like, oh, they found this body and so and so was missing this so and so. Yeah, the kills they, were did they ever say anything remarked about, upon? And like yeah. the movie didn't make a big fuss over them and about them missing parts or anything like that. No, right? There was no fuss. I feel like that deserves a fuss. Yeah, it there's really missing does. limbs and shit. It deserves a fuss. I mean, maybe they didn't reference it because they would want to cover it up because yeah, they don't want to give the, uh, the panic people or uh, make suggest that something untoward is going on. Do you remember what was the name of the school? Does anybody remember? Um, I feel like it had a name. They said it a few Saint times. Saint something or others. Our Lady of the Worthless Miracle. <laughs> Girls' school. Uh, it was a nice house, at least. Yeah, great house porn. Um, I, it had no. It's not for me. It's not house porn. It's set porn. Set porn because Sorry, you're right. uh, I couldn't live in this house because it's too imposing and gothic. It's huge. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's a clean school. It. I mean, God. But uh, that was the thing I was saying great about the hallways. print being a. It's the kind of tragic that the print that you can watch on Tubi is so blurry. Oh, it's so bad, you guys. And the, and it, 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 we put on subtitles, and the subtitles are clearly like. AI. AI are like just auto generated and, and they're terrible. They had trouble catching up to the dialogue. Yes. Dude, there was one where the, the headmistress was like, I'd really like to talk to Tupac. Yes, my. Uh, Did they spell with T U or. It was T U P A C. Uh, yeah. The letter two. No, it was <laughs> the number two. <laughs> no, it wasn't the number Tupac. two of Tupac. But uh, I, I was I like, that can't be right. Nobody was asking. Now, you know, listen, are my gold shoes too tight? You know, at least I could find the movie and stream it and understand it. So enough to hate it. It was I I didn't. I think I'm I'm the only one that didn't hate it. I didn't love it. But I got to say, like, it was great atmosphere. I enjoyed the I thought the pacing was kind of the pacing was my problem. Oh, you didn't like the pacing. See, I felt it was like kind of coasting along at a nice little clip. I got to explore the school. I I needed some tension. I needed something going on. I mean, all we all we were that build up at all. The build up was all about the headmistress and just the 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 abuse that she heaps upon these girls, and then the killing started too late, and then upon her own son. But the the killings start. The one girl, well, there's two killings for like a horror movie. You're right. uh, Where uh, there's so many potential victims, right? (laughs) There should be more kills. I mean, but it's also of its era. I liked how the kills were done. They were very done in a very cool artistic way. Yeah. But there was like no build up to the deaths or anything like that. There's right. Oh, she's got stabbed. That's it. She's yeah. on her way. One chick's on her way to go get some nookie with Lewis, the weird son. She dies for it. She dies for that sin. Mm-hmm. Getting her throat slit. I think he slit all their throats, right? He, he stabbed, stabbed one of them. He, th- he slit one oh, throat and he stabbed, stabbed another you, chick. Well, you only, one see, chick. you only see two murders, right? Well, you see Teresa die, and then that's three. So there's three, and then they do they uh, they allude to other killings, right? Yes, I feel like they I believe s- that so. somebody else had gone oh my missing. God, I just watched. It's like two. Yeah, nights I can't remember. Ago. It's not important. It's well, there, truly there, not. There had to be a bunch of killings because he Frankenstein a lady. That's what I thought. There had to be unless right. he Frankenstein her out of just also, two girls. So they were. Is, are they implying that every girl that ran away? Yeah, is part of this. Is part of this. Yeah, they were never leaving to get sex. Right. They oh were just all goodness. being chopped up and made into this. Because some of them were mummified. Some of the parts were mummified when they well, revealed that, that it. That was also a confusing thing because um, how long does it take to mummify a body? Because Lewis was said to be 16 or something. Yeah. When did he start? Oh, when did he start uh, I don't know. chopping these girls Maybe up? Maybe he did a cold pickle where he <laughs> just sliced them real thin. Cold pickle. Um, Master yeah. Chef. <laughs> The, the mother's like, why are we ordering so a much quick, vinegar? A quick pickle is what I meant to say. <laughs> She's yeah. always wondering, like, why are we ordering so much vinegar? <laughs> Our uh, main character, I guess, just because she's the main focus of majority of the movie, um, it's so weird that she's killed before the end, but um, she's bullied relentlessly um, by our mean girl, um, Irene. Is she, though? 
the sing Teresa sing yeah that they, scene where they were screaming at her and they lead no, her down to the with that was, but that was the only one of the only instance of bullying i remember well i thought it was enough but i mean it was hey. a pretty pretty intense theatrical yeah, kind of bullying relentlessly i imagine yeah. like constant well, non-stop in that scene. as opposed to just uh, one incident. the movie didn't have enough time to yeah. give me relentless you're right we never revisit themes or anything in this no. movie it's all no. it's follow forward moving so Teresa's no no stories are revisited or resolved she escapes and thanks to lewis the weird son she gets some some cash before she leaves he breaks open his piggy bank Looks kind of a cute scene until you realize. It's kind of a cute scene when you realize he's just going to follow her. And guess what? An arm just kind of pokes out from the side of the screen, slits her throat. There Mm -hmm. goes your main character. Yep. No final girl. No. I like the scene, but. For such a big setup of that character. It was very unceremonious that she was just by exactly yeah. because it was arm it slash was, it was, done. It was the mystery of where she came from, like right? The, yeah. The uh, her mother's backstory because she was so cagey. Her mother about telling yeah. uh, what her mother really did and exactly. yeah, what happened to her. They think her mom's a sex worker and that's why they were bullying her too. Like w- they, w- yeah, when any modern movie would probably be like this should she should at minimum be a red herring uh, for yeah. the killer. Yeah. But no, but it it didn't follow a lot of the rules of a of a Jalo like or a slasher you know traditional slasher movie. It, it kind of ignored a lot of that stuff. Oh, a lot of the rules of a, a movie too. In yeah. general. The, well, the stuff that you find comfort in when you watch these movies, and that's why you probably you probably hated it. I like to feel comforted. Well, yeah. I was, I, I probably hated it because I was just so it was so aimless. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know who to follow and. Yeah, there were just scenes of pointlessness. <laughs> there were some weird moments that didn't like connect them to anything. Showering in their yeah. gowns. I think that was just the mo- uh, a point. Uh, it was just a setup to show that uh, Lewis is a peeping tom. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean it helps that, but also it does. I I think that scene does make. It paints a broader picture of how the school really is. Of how is. repressed yeah. they it's, are. It's super puritanical. Yeah. Like, you know? this woman's just asking for poltergeist. You get a bunch yeah. of girls together, <laughs> and you have them repressing something. Yeah. Shit. That's why you give them graham crackers. That's how you get poltergeist. And I felt like uh, they said the Wizman only came once every three weeks or something. Mm-hmm. It's like they were waiting three... And sometimes you not even get picked to screw the Wizman. How yeah. are you not the Wizman going, I can make daily deliveries if you'd like. Because he's getting <laughs> it from all these, you know, some young tail. Do you think, like, uh, they all shared a bunch of STDs, Why too? did I say young tail? That's gross. <laughs> I don't know. It's the era of the Ew. movie. If 1970, that's what somebody would have yeah. said. Some hot action. Some of that jail bait. Yeah. Some, some of that sweet, sweet boarding school <laughs> jail bait. That barely legal tail. Ugh, gross. Um... So she's... Teresa's escaping, yeah. but then she dies. So, like, whatever... The principal has decided she's going to completely escape proof the entire house, which I'm sorry, ma'am, you are just creating a fire hazard. Yeah, she calls and that is in illegal. carpenters to nail all the windows shut on the first floor. That was upsetting. I was like, yeah. man, this is no longer safe. It reminded me of A Nightmare on Elm Street Yeah, when uh, the mom tries to protect Nancy by putting bars on the windows. If anything, it uh, caused more problems for Nancy than yeah. anything. And that, it was true here. You're just trapping everybody inside with their killer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why, I mean, to me, this Denial. movie is not a complete failure because it has those moments that I guess, but support my imagination filling a lot of blanks, I, I think. You know, like <laughs> my I've, imagination I've approached took it, the day off. I approached it more as like a sketchy novel where I got to fill in some well, of the blanks. I don't want to do the work for right for a movie. The movie's supposed to do the work. I'm desperate for entertainment. <laughs> So I'm I'm just happy to, I can't to give, see a mummy. I can't give points for a movie that doesn't exist. <laughs> that exists only in my mind. In your mind. Why don't you review the movie you wish it were? <laughs> in my mind, I was like, ooh, I want 10 Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> Did you you laughed and you cried? <laughs> this movie reaffirmed I made my it all joy the way over the hump. Of living. It would be funny Honestly. if it, in my mind. In my mind, Oscars, I was just nominated, didn't win. In your mind, Oscars. <laughs> you were nominated for watching all the good yeah. movies. Do you wish you could get nominated for watching movies? I am being nominated for watching the most movies in a theater this year. I think that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
and then people vote on who they Midwesterner. like. Best Midwesterner. Best Midwesterner. Um, um, Scream Factory did a nice print of this. There's still yeah. like little scratches and stuff on it, but Do if you you're going like, to watch it and you haven't seen yeah. it, that's an interesting choice to make a re-release this. You know, I for, said to Amy before I looked like it an up, exploitation sort I of said this movie is actually, I think, Catholic. really beautiful. I can't believe it's not a better print. Yeah. And and we stopped it for a minute. Mm-hmm. And I looked it up and found the better print. Yeah, for me, it's just so forgettable that why well, go through the trouble of finding yeah. putting it for a, weirdos a nice like print. me <laughs> for weirdos like Freddie, yeah. who I like those um, kind of weirder, obscure, early. But if you want uh, a print that looks like it was taken from somebody's VHS copy, yeah, that they saw on TV, yeah. that has and the they tracking. Cut, they, they there's tracking and it, they had to cut commercials out because I'm yeah. telling you, yeah. it feels like this movie has commercial breaks cut into it. And Elvira's movie Macabre did it too, right? Yes, yeah. that was on Prime, and we could have watched it. We could have watched Elvira. It, yeah. So it must be a, if if Elvira screening is probably considered a bad movie yeah. by most people. So I'm sure it's like it's a cult film to some people. Yeah. It's not you. You guys aren't in the cult. <laughs> it's a very, very tiny cult. And I don't love it. I, I don't want anybody to think I love no, it. I, appreciate like, I, give it, I give it like a six out of ten. I like that you're trying to find the good in yeah. things. He's sweet that way. You take the good, you take the bad. Take the bad. Yeah. So, uh, boarding school is also, we've been, I got, I was like, I need to cleanse my palate with some nice boarding school stories where sure. people aren't murdered. And we started watching The Facts of Life from the beginning. <laughs> yes. If, were there yeah. more students besides yes. the four girls? Yes, there were a lot well, more. In the beginning, yeah. it's much like... Uh, that's like all six, we're, Molly the, Ringwald. They that's just all mysteriously disappeared. Another brunette. They've been run, <laughs> is Lewis killing them too? <laughs> Who's making a mummy out of a bunch of Facts of Life students, Eastland Academy. Oh, we, we didn't talk too much about the end. Yeah, you mean just where he, he is taken everything every time his mom has driven the idea that he should marry a woman like her in yeah. his head? And he's like finding parts from girls that remind um, him of his mother. Like this, like look, Creepy. she has your eyes. Yeah, she has your hands. Like how? Do you, who knows her mother's hands? Would you do, <laughs> saying that out loud though? Doesn't it feel like it's kind of a little more chilling kind of no, I, movie? I think it's like Ed said, Gein inspired. I, I, I in like the way. idea of it, but um, <laughs> it didn't. Uh, come across on screen it straight up stole that last shot out of psycho too yeah. where the shot of norman where they sitting against the wall wouldn't hurt a fly and he's acting you know like smiling this has like that same it's not him acting like he's his mother yeah. or anything but it is him just that same yeah. basic shot yeah. setup. and there was a cool ending uh when he reveals the uh, frankenstein mummy to his mother and yeah. then he locks her in the attic with the the mummy girl let me girl. And he's like, talk to her, talk to her. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm like, uh, kind of like wondering what the mother's fate is going to be. Oh. Do you feel this movie could Nothing use a, a remake where they t- polish it up and it would actually be Maybe, a, a better yeah. movie? I mean, it has the bones of yeah. like, a, a, a fun, sleazy movie, but I don't know. Black Christmas is way better. Yeah. It kind of has a Black Christmas vibe and a lot of, a lot of, parts i think but yeah. i think if you're gonna have one or the other if you know this let's be honest these movies are kind of clones of each other for the most part for right? real i get you on that yeah. um i thought it was interesting like the mean girl turns on the principal because before they were like you know friends now she's like i want out of here i just saw this chick killed because she, irene had been watching when Teresa Teresa uh got her throat slit so she knew some bad shit was going down and she wanted out um okay dog seriously right dog. there dog dog she farted dog. right before she started doing that too oh do you think she woke herself I, up i was trying to be like an adult about it and not even mention <laughs> it but then she started barking so i thought i'd tell everybody she farted too <laughs> I don't even remember what I was talking about. Uh, so, but sorry. they were blackmailing. Yeah, does She's it turn out, blackmailer. Does it turn out the mean girls are heroine heroine? You know, sort of. Yeah. She sort of ends the I mean, she ends dub dead, but she does stand up. No real for the heroes good thing. there. Yeah, there was no there real no protagonist heroes. in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, I guess any girl that decided or decided or was left to live. Yeah. Abandoned here. Yes. I don't know. Uh but yeah. There goes the Woodsman's hot and cold running jailbait. 
Oh, yeah. Well, no one thinks of the woodsman when they do these yeah. things, when they build a mummy out of girl parts. <laughs> I'm sure he has multiple boarding schools he delivers wood to. Oh, <laughs> he's known all the, over France. This can't be the only repressed boarding school in 18th century yeah. France. This is true. It's good work if you can get it. There was like a, a, a 19th century version of, a, of a, a folk song that was basically money for nothing. Chicks for free. But it was about being a woodsman in 19th century France. Uh-huh. It was played on a lute. <laughs> He's probably like the um, the Genghis Khan of France, where oh, like everybody's everywhere. related to him because <gasps> he's planting so much seed around. Oh my god! Lord of Mercy. What? There Good is also him. weird, like on facts. If you don't know what Facts of Life is, it's a sitcom from started in seventy nine and ran forever. Google it. Uh, it went through two headmistresses. Yeah, Mrs. that's how Garrett. long it was on our air for. Yeah. Mrs. Garrett, first season. Bad hair aside, she's got a banging body. Kelly always had the hots for and her. And he's remember? right. Well, yeah. She was probably only in her 40s. Yeah, probably. Because it's it's that thing when the 80s, everybody looked older, mm-hmm. younger. <laughs> yeah. Uh, remember like the Golden Girls? Oh, yeah. They, they were all... in their late 40s, early 50s. That makes me want to cry because I'm hurtling <laughs> towards that. But also like we live to 117 yeah. now. Well, that person just died. Yeah. R.I.P. to that person. Good for you. They were probably really bored near the end. Yeah, they're like, I've seen and watched and read. And they're like, you want to just watch the House of Screams again, Nana? Oh, no. <laughs> She's probably like, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> there's weird, but there's weird sexual shit in the first few episodes of with the with the, there is. the headmaster. The principal of the yeah. of the uh, I don't remember. Joint. There was a there was a dude. There was a dude. Mm-hmm. And he constantly is like stuttering over his words with the with the girls where he calls them like girls or then he goes, Women, you're women. You are women. And like he says women weird. He's kind of strangely uncomfortable mm. yeah. for a guy who's a headmaster of a school for girls. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't play so super how, well, but they do abandon that. How far are you guys into your rewatch of? Like five or six episodes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're, it's, I took it's still a, early. I paused on Too Close for Comfort, and now this is working on me right now. Because Too Close for Comfort, I'm going to be honest. Mm-hmm. It's not the greatest. It's, it's not keeping me. Out. It's not comforting. No. It's too far away <laughs> for comfort. It gets, uh, I've always felt like the dad on Too Close for Comfort kind of became a, a jerk <laughs> after a while. Well. I don't know about all that, but I will tell you. Sometimes I get too close for comfort and emptiness mixed up. Oh, <gasps> uh, Rufus, emptiness. the dog. That was the star for me, that big golden retriever. We need retriever. to find that. If that's not streaming, I don't know yeah. what to do with my life. <laughs> I was telling my therapist today. Yeah. I said, I'm learning to be okay with being bored. Like for the first time in my whole life. Where that I'm is like, a big deal for you. It is a big deal. Yeah. Got to enjoy the silence. Yeah. It, but I also watch, I've run a, I've watched old TV as well, but that's also just open space for old TV where I'm like, hey, what else am I doing? Why not some facts of life? What else are you doing? Yeah. And did, I can work out while we watch it. Did George stretches. Clooney show up on Facts of Life or? Yeah, late, later seasons he was. I was regular. not a Facts of Lifer. It was not part of my main TV diet. He was part of it when Cloris Leachman yeah, came on. I think so. Yeah. And when they when what uh, do I have to look forward to? When they lived above the shop. Yeah, they had was a candy shop, right? It started off a candy shop, then it burned down because somebody left the iron on. Oh yeah, so and they then became always like, burning shit down. They became the like a like a uh, modern novelty shop or something. Remember uh, Webster burned down his apartment building in that one episode. It's a cautionary tale in the eighties. Yeah. You know, I was just thinking we need to replace our our smoke alarm. W- replace our Webster. <laughs> our smoke alarm. Oh, <laughs> uh, Gary Coleman was. Uh, you know how Facts of Life was a spinoff from Different Strokes because Mrs. Garrett was the drummer's uh-huh. housekeeper, and she left to go work at Eastland Academy. And I know too much about this, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> And I think I'm getting it all right. It's been you a long are, time. Actually, I, so I know it too. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I wasn't going to admit it. Well, she leaves and goes there. Yeah, one, yeah. I didn't realize this show had been on since 79 because I'd seen it in reruns and it was still on the air too. They make some really there good so Carter administration jokes and you're like, whoa. Yeah. It was like current event jokes about Jimmy Carter. You hang, know how old that man is? Hang on, Jimmy Carter. Yeah. <laughs> I want why? Him, no, I want him to live long enough to vote for Kamala Harris oh, because okay. he that's one of his things he said he wanted to do. All right, that's kind of badass. Yeah. He, he'll Carter do it. Vote. Have like you heard the uh, gossip about um, the Facts of Life reboot? No. no. Apparently, like, uh, Mindy, Mindy Cohn Mindy was on a podcast and she said there was going to be a, a reboot 
but uh, one of the cast members went behind our backs <gasps> and uh, tried to get her own show. And she said, like, I'm not going to name names, but if you go to my Instagram, you'll figure it out. Did you figure it out? Well, like, I didn't go to Instagram. Was it like, Blair? Uh, the people in the comment section was like, it's Blair. It's Blair. Because she's like, she doesn't show up in Mindy Cohn's like, um, pictures at all where she's hanging out with like, uh, two, 2D and Nancy, and, uh, yeah. Nancy McKeon. I see. I, I, Blair was always the villain to me. I think she was supposed to yeah. be. Yeah. And, and she's and a villain in real life, too. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, shit. She does nice things on the show. Okay, I don't. But she care. comes about. She comes about. Remember, she cheated in in the poetry class, and she submitted it. She yeah. submitted uh, one of Emily Dickinson's poems as if it were her own work. But of course, the headmaster, a headmaster, headmaster was like, "This is a great poem. I'm going to submit it to the national oh, no. poetry competition." Oh, that old chestnut for yeah. real though. It's an old chestnut. She That's came clean. That's a dick move. Yeah. All right. A Dickinson so- move. Before we uh, keep talking, I just want to know, are we done talking about the house that screamed? Yes. Mm-hmm. I think we've been done. Okay. And All right. Andy has some new, some straight up new shit for that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> straight up. Come, come over here, girl. I'm going to wax that ass. <laughs> wow, Freddie. With this movie review. <laughs> Something brand new for that ass. Oh. Okay. So I saw... Uh, Alien Romulus. Thank that, you for saying the full title. I have to say the full title. When you first said Romulus, I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? It took me a second too. I was like, oh yeah, Alien Romulus. It doesn't out of context. I, I guess I have to, to say, like, I saw Covenant. Yeah, I saw um, Prometheus or something. Yeah, it's like what is they left Alien Prometheus? out of those. Yeah. yeah, they left Alien out of Prometheus. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they did in Covenant. I think it was Alien Covenant. But if was you, I, oh yeah, I guess if you say Prometheus, people will know what you're talking about. But is Romulus too new to say? I saw yeah. Romulus. It is. Normally, I don't like a lot of style over substance, but man, Prometheus really did it for I, me. Okay, I love I, those movies. I'm a defender of Prometheus. I really like it's that. It's fucking yeah. gorgeous. I like how they went so big with the storyline. Yeah. Like epic with the engineers and the goo and stuff. Uh, I like that big sci fi stuff. Yeah. Were you a Covenant fan? I like Covenant. Me too. Because yeah. I was like, went back to like straight horror. Yeah. 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 It was like a little slasher movie. But uh, this Romulus is very along the lines of Alien, where it's more straight horror than uh, than sci-fi. Yeah, I will say it kind of lost me the last act. Oh, it really? kept ending. I heard um, that from uh, another person. Yeah, and they were like somebody described it. it as uh, the Lord of the Rings ending. <laughs> yeah, the um, Return of the King. Where it's like, oh, it's gonna wrap up nicely here. Then, bam, there's more. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> How? What's the runtime? Do you know? It was like an like hour thirty, hour and forty. It was like very. Oh, really? But it didn't feel that way until the end. It was very yeah. efficient. Like the first two acts. Thank you, movie, for being a reasonable yeah. length. <laughs> In my opinion, were like perfect. Yeah. It was scary. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I, I've, I've always found like alien movies pretty scary, but except for maybe Aliens, that was more actiony. Yeah, I didn't think I found yeah. that one too. Either. Amy Sussy Resurrection. Yeah. I'll get to it's it. Really, it's good. It's fun. Yeah. Um, very it's way different. Yeah, it's also scary too. Good, but uh, I like the direction they're going. It was like a haunted house movie, very yeah. much like Alien. Yeah, I love the original. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was really good up until a certain point, but, and then it kind of lost me. It didn't like ruin the movie for me, but it was just like just end. No, <laughs> Get on the goddamn shit. That's so funny. <laughs> you, is it worth theater money? Then? I think it is. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, sure. I got a I big matinee. Let's here. go with that. It's worth a matinee. It's matinee money. Um, but there's there's talk about this very to me the tacky thing they did. Yeah, it's once a spoiler. you see it, once yeah. you see it, then you know what I'm talking about. There's something All tacky right. that yeah. happens. Oh, ooh. It was That's not, tantalizing. And not necessary either. There, that was another problem. Like, um, there were so many callbacks to other movies, which I'm getting tired of. Yeah, just to do it to do it. Yeah, you're like, it's not, it's not, and, not required. And a lot of things <laughs> every time the callbacks didn't make sense. Yeah, they just did it just to say it. Yeah, you know, it like. I like um, when we were talking about Deadpool versus Wolverine. I I said the whole movie was like that Leonardo DiCaprio meme of him, yeah, yeah. like pointing and look. <laughs> there were moments like this here. Yeah, and I'm just tired of that. Like, yeah, fan service. Yeah, is, it, is you the should, term right? I feel like you should um, trust your audience. Yeah, 
give them more credit than that. Maybe, even like, maybe it's because I know more about this series than like maybe the average moviegoer. Maybe it's for other people besides like the hardcore fans. But this timeline is this like it chronologically? Apparently, it takes yeah. place after Alien and after Alien and before Aliens. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. it's like a big, still like a big uh, uh, time jump, but because you know how the, those movies like kind of span uh, decades and eons. I, I love the universe. Yeah. And I love what they started to do. And I hope the thing you're talking about being tacky isn't this very thing, but I love how they started letting it and the Blade Runner world kind of mm-hmm. weave together into one universe because they do work really yeah. well together. It's like peanut butter and chocolate. Mm hmm. Of course. Yeah. So uh, I give probably if I had to give it a grade, I would give it a B. Okay, yeah. that's solid. Now I'm waiting for the uh, sequel called Remus. Romulus <laughs> and Remus sitting in a tree. Oh wait, they're brothers, right? Now I did. Uh, um, we, and there oh, was a, there was a nod to the um, uh, Romulus and Remus. I obviously is named after like the the brothers in Italy, but they they showed a picture of them suckling from the. Um, the, wolf the wolf's teeth? teats, yeah, and that's like a Cincinnati connection because we have a statue and yeah, we, we have, have one of our Ramos. downtown parks, yeah, which was stolen, and they stole the statue, but they gave us a um, a uh, a redo of it. Okay, good. Yeah, they replaced. We also it. have Cincinnati. We got. We think. We think some we're pretty fun Roman. We're very history. Italian connected, <laughs> German and Italian for sure. Um, I was gonna the say the algorithm served up to it, us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Recently, the movie Haunted Ween. <laughs> I forgot completely about Haunted Ween. I want to mention it because for being a bad trash movie, it's actually got a little bit of charm. Ween as in Halloween. Yes. Yeah. And not uh, penis. Correct. <laughs> I mean. The holiday. Let your let your imagination flow, whatever you want it to be. I'm not going to tell you, but I think it was Halloween. Um, Sounds like a Disney movie or something. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Definitely not that. Nope. There were titties in it. There were titties in it. Uh, yes, there were yeah, there. there were titties early and often, and uh, <laughs> and it was also just real people. It was sort of like a they were trying to do a Halloween sort of thing with like this young kid, not like young like the college kids. was, but no, 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 like the dude. Oh, in the beginning, sorry. The it's it's basically these college kids find this old abandoned haunt, haunt where these murders are to happen because his teen went and murdered a bunch of people at the haunt. And um, turns out, I guess he's still alive. And then he starts picking them off one by one when they're hanging out and having their Halloween well, party. Well, he encourages them to throw a haunt there. He even gives oh, them the key. that's true. He's like, he's like, it's great because it's all these Bowling Green, right, college kids from Kentucky. Kentucky and it's yeah. clearly like, it's not, for what it is, it looks decent. You it know, looks uh, yeah. decent. It, it's like a, it's definitely like, it feels like a bunch of college you kids made, made a slasher movie. fucking dollars, you know. It's got some way over the top performances in it, too. Yeah. So it was really funny. When was this made? 91. 91, okay. Yeah. It was made for 10 to $15, but honestly, <laughs> they did a good job with what they had. It's entertaining. Um, yeah. Does the title get explained in the movie? Because <laughs> No. Why it's does it, bad English. Like, haunted, wait, you're right. It's so stupid. <laughs> is there a haunting in it? Do you think? No, there's no ghost. They're like, this is going <laughs> to piss people off because it makes no sense. So they'll notice us. Any any publicity is good publicity. In so ninety one, like, well, they didn't give a shit. Movie title: Haunted Ween, and that makes you want to see it. Because that's There's why guy... I wanted to see it because it was called Haunted Ween, and I'm like, that's stupid. One actor is doing like a Jerry Lewis level of performance in it. No joke, well, like that level it, of over the top. But does it? Um jive with all the other performances or he stand out to because me, he's over the top he sta- well he stands out but he would have stood out regardless even if everybody else was playing big because mm. he was kind of like almost like a jim varney vibe <gasps> of ridiculous um you know almost like earnest and then everybody else is playing regular kind of college kids Burn. he's just kind of a a college kid who has a lot of weird personality yeah kind of a more eloquent barney fife yeah and- he died, right? Because I imagine a character like that has to be a victim. I did no. fall asleep near the end. I don't remember. I don't think so. He, you kind of not like, the movie's fault. My he, fault. He's he goes from being like irritating to kind of like he'll grow on you. I think. 
like if, a growth. If you have the patience to get like through something, the Doctor Pimple Popper needs to come get. Yeah, by the end of the movie, you kind of. I mean, it's got good vibes. I don't know. It did. It had good vibes. I can't explain it. It's on the it's on the Tubi, of course. I mean, it, it takes place during Halloween, right? Yeah. Is that yeah. why it's called? Well, it's a frat it's, it's who has got, got the ween part. The, the frat, the frat, is frat hasn't the paid old their dues. haunted haunt. We didn't tell the setup is the frat's going to lose their, their charter. They're going to lose their charter, man. And they're not making enough hosting parties where they're mm. selling cups. So they decide to do the haunt because the haunt will bring in so much more money. Which is true. That's the setup. And actually, you kind of, it almost feels like one of those Revenge of the Nerds kind of, you're on their side. You're like, yeah. oh, I hope they do raise the money. These aren't such bad kids. These scrappy little shits. Yeah. And then, anyway. then they start killing people off. You're kind of like, oh, all right. Maybe I give a little bit of a shit here. Oh. Yeah. Look at you. A little bit of a shit. Just a tiny shit. Chunk of turd for so, you. Oh. So can you add ween to anything to make it a Halloween movie? Sure, why not? Christmas ween. <laughs> Philadelphia ween. <laughs> Alien Romulus ween. <laughs> Could be a whole series. Yeah. <laughs> like water for chocolate ween. <laughs> like any movie. <laughs> like Schindler's ween. No, Schindler's no, ween. No, Schindler's l- No. <laughs> It's a Holocaust movie that takes place during Halloween. <laughs> no. Terms uh. of endearment we You know, and so on. And yeah, so it's on. a cancer movie about on Halloween. Do this. This is a fun little game. We're just gonna we're just gonna uh, keep going. Stepmom with this. ween. Stepmom ween. <laughs> a dying stepmother during Halloween. During Halloween though. <laughs> Sophie's choice. Ween. <laughs> it's a Passion of the Christ ween. I don't know. Sophie just has to choose between almond joy. No, it or could mouse. be about Jesus Christ going trick or treating. Yes, yeah. it could. You know what? I hope he got to experience that before they killed him. Um, that's fantastic. Anything mm-hmm. else the uh, algorithm served up to us this week? Uh, well, we return to watch Mutant starring Wings Hauser for the third time on Rift Tracks. What is though. this movie and what does this hold over me? I love it. I love the riff tracks for it. Mutant. Have I highly recommend it. Have you seen it without the riff tracks? We almost did. Almost watched yeah. it. And Freddie's like, you know, there's a riff tracks and we've seen it before. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> this, the algorithm on Tubi served mutant. Uh, mutant to Amy. And she started to watch. I said, Amy, you've seen this twice. <laughs> Amy. As a riff tracks. And uh, so and we you watched it the third time. I am like your toddler right now. All I want to do is watch the same old stuff because yeah. it's just easy. Um, oh, you say so you you knew that you watched this? Before. Yeah, I was okay yeah. with it. It's some, a really good riff. No, tracks. I thought it was like one of those times where you watched it and I like, was oh, so wait, high I saw and I forgot. <laughs> no, because Wings How he was so memorable. I this feel tiny like tiny little short. Yeah, Wings Hauser is in the the jokes that they make about him. <laughs> Red Bull gives you me. That made me laugh. Yeah, oh, it's, it's apparently it's um, Cincinnati Wing Week. Is it? Ooh, what are your favorite Cincinnati wings, Andy? I'm lazy. I like wing stuff. I mean, really, yeah, me too. Wing stuff, stuff is pretty good. And they're not a Cincinnati wing. They're just wings. What do you guys want? You want to eat dinner together? We'll get like some. Wing Souser never opened yeah. a restaurant. Maybe he has. How come who hasn't? Wing Souser has an opening. Oh, yeah. Maybe he has. Wings Houser's Wings and Rings. Houser's Wings and Rings. No, Wings Houser House of Rings. There's, <laughs> is there something there? <laughs> Wings, Hauser's O rings, and chicken <laughs> is Wings, Hauser's House of Rings. Wings. Wings. <laughs> yeah, Wings, Hauser's House of Wings. You know, it's perfect. Wings. Do we want to call him? Does anybody listening have his number? How you is have Wings, Hauser these yeah. days? Tell him that we love him and um, send me his contact information. And he right? always looks slightly sunburned. And what an interesting name, too. I Wings. Know, right? Yeah. I should do some research on it. Maybe, you know, maybe we'll have a little bonus episode where we talk about the career in life. Did, did his like mother, did his parents named out a bunch of kids and they named after chicken parts? Oh, yeah, maybe. <gasps> Is there Thighs Hauser? Oh, no. Gizzard no, Hauser. Gizzard. I knew a guy named Giz. Okay. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. At the end of every show, what do we do? Thank our patrons? We thank our Beelzebubs who are our high level patrons. I didn't mean to say it like that. Oh, the thing I was trying to say earlier about the mailing list. Yeah. My the winner is name's Finnegan. And if you hear this and your name's Finnegan and You got like three days. You got yeah, you got like three days. But if if he doesn't get back to us with his selection by Thursday, uh, I'm gonna go on the Discord where our patrons are. They've already kind of suggested a few things, I think, in there. Um, and we'll just maybe figure something out from one of those. That's exciting. Um, so yeah, patreon.com slash N O T L P if you're interested in that. Got some bonus stuff over there. You get some merch and you get to hang out on our Discord, which is one of the nicest places on the internet. 
And then we have meetups weekly and, you know, all that fun stuff. So the RB Alzebubs get their names said, though. So I'm going to do that right now. It's like an honor roll. Matt, Brandon and Emily, Jeffel, I own a good one. I own a great one. Dr. Brian, Old Dirty Bilster, Bill Farner, Blaine Yogurt, Jordash Jeans, Monica, Jeremy Cassie Gamora, Ernie, and Dave. Thank you, guys. We couldn't do it without you for sure. For sure. We had to replace the mixer. Thank you. You paid for that. Yeah. I hope it sounds okay. We're, uh, we're trying it out for the first time. Oh, my gosh. How exciting. All right, everybody. All right. Bye. Bye.